Welcome to day three. We're all about Christmas and all about Hunky Dory <laughs> this whole week. Well, probably the whole season. <laughs> and today we have a festive elegance kit that has just a variety of images, which is kind of fun to explore. Right, plus it has some really neat specialty finishes yes. that you don't always get with Hunky Dory, not just silver and gold, but lots of other stuff okay. too. Okay, so come, come play, play with us. us. Here is the Festive Elegance Kit. You can see there's a ton of stuff in it. We'll page through all of that. But first, the ideas. And although there are no instructions, it's nice to have these to kind of, oh, jumpstart your creativity. Right, so, inspiration. Yeah. And that's a, great, that's a great way to go with this. Plus, at the bottom of this, you'll show um, there is an easel card shown so you can see what that looks like. So that's helpful. Yeah. And we're going to show you one too. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's get into the art. And as I said, Ooh. this is a wide variety. And I love, I have to mention first that I love the shapes and look for these and later on. Okay. We're going to see these on one of our projects used separately from this image. Okay. Okay. And yet we still have the nesting part that's going on. So borders, very cute little village love going that. on. And you can see the little houses, the reindeer. And I love the different shapes. Always, you mm -hmm. know, circles, labels, you get scroll work, you get squares, rectangles. And of course the greetings, and that's really sure, nice. Sure, and lots to choose from. Right, reindeer, birds, beautiful. we've got owls. Look at that, and the silver is the silver's just sort of jumping off yeah, there. Yeah, very frosty. Now this is one of the specialty right. finishes you were talking mm -hmm. about. And I'm not sure what the camera looks like. It's like a silver glitter holographic. Yeah. And, and it's go. just really nice and shiny. And I like it paired with that, uh, with the pale pastels <laughs> there. It's a really interesting look. Very cute. Now we have um, some sweet treats, so doing us, and then Here's Holly another Jolly. one of our specialty finishes. Oh, this is in a burgundy foil. That's and pretty. That's pretty unique, I like that one. Yeah, that's unusual that they mm -hmm. have put the variety of foiling in one I like one that pack. it sort of looks like a, a sweater here, yeah, a knitted stitched. sweater. <laughs> here again is that um, holographic uh, glittery Love one. It with the, the grays, the blacks and mm -hmm. whites, just a little Snowy bit of red. Scene. Now we have a paper toll style coming mm -hmm. up with the three wise men. We have a uh, fashionista doing, and again, um, this is with more of a copper look. Yeah, it does look right. just yeah. a slightly different. Slightly different than different gold. Look. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go into the adorable scroll that is foiled. So uh, we've got, you can see the flash of snowflakes in the distance there. Again, at the top with these uh, little love owls. I love that these uh, match the die cut so well. So you can put die cuts on the front of your page and you can use these to accent the inside or do a completely different card. Right, absolutely. And sometimes all over designs with that flash, sometimes a border like so. And um, great look. Like I love that. the chalkboard yeah. theme there. That's Very fun. Okay, poinsettias all over, snowflakes, of course. And that beautiful burgundy yeah, foil finish. Yeah, that's different. Isn't that neat? Whoops, okay. Oops. Okay. And then we have the <laughs> non foiled pieces. So 10 foiled, 10 non foiled, and um, again, as always, matching the rest of the art. And while it says that this will make at least 20 cards, we all know with Hunky Dory, you're always going to get so much more, and especially if you decide to make some small gift tags with some of those smaller uh, leftover pieces of yeah. adorable scoreboard. I think 24 cards is kind of the magic, but it, very often it's going to be much more than that. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so there is our pile of goodies. Of goodies. And now, what are we going to do? Okay, we're <laughs> okay. going to start with um, that uh, sweet little reindeer. And again, this is the specialty foiling. This has been, uh, kind of pooches out just a little bit, which I really always like that, using the adorable scoreable just to cover the whole front right. of the card. And I love that this, okay, if you look at this die cut, it's got a center, uh, the center, that circle, it's got an, a ring right here, and then it's got this outer frame, and all of that was left together intact 
to cover and to right. put on the front of this card. And I think I'm like you. I would be more inclined to pull that apart and use them different right. areas. But sometimes <laughs> it works leaving it like that. And nice to just simply overlap those. So what I think Hunky Dory does is it gives you the tools and then you can assemble and create as you choose. Right. This is another different look. So we've taken our five by six and a half inch card, placed it with the fold at the top, but letting this pooch up. Right. And I think that's a nice look. I also like the idea of cutting the adorable scoreable so it's about an eighth inch uh, smaller than your card all the uh, way around and that okay. gives you a nice white matted edge. Now the uh, black jewel border dazzles also have the silver edge and they pair very nicely with this particular you die know, cut. You know what I love about our border dazzles is they go with it so well that you can't even sometimes you can't even notice that it's not part <laughs> of the, the hunky dory design. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> I also like having okay so this is a this is a rectangle, this is a rectangle that's placed vertically, then there's another rectangle placed horizontally. Right. And just a little snip of ribbon. And then we have on the inside again. <laughs> have a this. yummy Christmas. A yummy that Christmas. That is really sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> so this is fun in that the Merry Christmas to you both. Now that is part of the, uh, the adorable, adorable scoreboard. It, right. it was the sheet where, and this was at the lower right, mm -hmm. but just placing that strategically and then having this on top is Isn't a sweet nice? way to do it. It's got your greeting already there on, on there for you, and then you can just start stacking your die cuts. Super, this is like a 30, 45 second card, just, <laughs> well, okay, maybe a minute, <laughs> maybe a full minute. It also helps to have this to look at. <laughs> right. um, and then we've got the silver border dazzles right along the fold, and on the inside, whoops, we didn't do anything, but you certainly can if you choose to. And you're going to have so much left over that you didn't yeah. actually have to pop a greeting on there that you can add whatever you like to the inside. You'll have more. <laughs> and now you mentioned that there was a gatefold card on their uh, idea sheet and we've taken this or, one. Or easel card. Okay, what did right. I say? A gatefold. A gatefold. Okay, easel. Change change that. We're looking at both today. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> and this one is going to just lift up like so. Super easy it to It is make. super easy. You know, first of all, you're going to cut, uh, you take a five inch by six and a half inch card, cut it down to five inch, put that fold up five at the top, mm -hmm. five inch square, and then you're going to score the front panel only. So I would open this up, I would go ahead and score, and that'll be two and a half inches down from the top so that you've got that. And then it just looks like a tent when you're done. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that you only uh, attach your die cuts to uh, this part of your card. So when you look at this card, when you first look at it, you can't tell it's an easel card right. because there's no score line here. You can't see that. But if we turn it sort of sideways, you can see it was only attached to the front panel, to right. the front half of that panel. Right. I also want to point out um, bows are a very fun thing to do, but if you are what we say bow challenged, okay. um, hold your head high because all you need to do is tie a knot just like was done here. We'll get in just a little closer and um, it really has the appearance of a bow. It and does. This is the one and a half inch wide crepe ribbon and it just is gorgeous. It is. It's and beautiful. Matches it doesn't that smash. Perfectly. See, you can do that. It still looks pretty. <laughs> it sure does. Now, when when you do an easel card, just make sure that you foam tape something on the inside, one of the die cuts, so that it's going to hold up your card when you open it up. And this is um, with, with love, love and, and best wishes from all the family. And that, that die yeah. cut piece being foam taped on there, it's going right. to hold that in place. Of course, everything matches. That's kind of the sweater look you were talking about yeah. when we looked mm -hmm. at those. And this again is that burgundy finish, so very nice. Now the paper toll finish um, is going on on this card, but it is also a gatefold card. So you can open so it up like go. so. So isn't that nice? Yeah. I love that look. And uh, this one has a lot of uh, layering going on. This is a, a particular paper toll that has lots of layers, so you can really see that um, 3D look on there. Right. I just think that's a beautiful look. And like we you demonstrated yesterday, right. um, having these little um, squares foam, of foam yeah, tape. Right. they're thin foam. and they're already cut to the small size. Perfect for these small areas, for yeah. the star, for the, it's just going to be really easy hands. to complete that. Just match up the images, 
just like you, you saw us doing yesterday with the little Santa right. snow globe. And I do like, and I'm sure that you've noticed as we've gone through, just the little greetings, just letting them pop up on foam tape. Mm -hmm. ha add the, in this case, at the corner of that um, little uh, paper toll piece, and the gold border dazzles, just what a nice finishing touch. You can almost imagine, okay, without those, it would still be lovely, but with those, it's more finished. It, it sure is. And I think that's really nice. And you can add uh, something else in the Starry Night if you want to, or do your computer journaling and add a message sure. if you like. So very pretty, very, very nice. A gorgeous card. Scrapbookers, here we go. Okay. And this, all of these kits are also for you. And this is a, another perfect example. Absolutely, starting with black cardstock. So that background, you've got black cardstock, and then you've got a particular uh, piece of paper that we used for this yeah, one. Yeah, this is sold individually, and it's called Red Music, and you can see why. So it has right. this collage effect, but it works really it, nicely. It really does work well with this. You can, you can use just some other, uh, uh, like a red cardstock here as well, but then start adding your die cuts. And this one, I believe, oh, this, I, I'm not sure if this is part of the adorable score bowl if this is one of the pop-out die cuts but either way check the gallery it'll tell you for sure but I love that border piece at the top and at the and down here at the bottom but remember I asked you to look out for a certain die cut oh. and here it is so there was a die cut with Santa in the center right. so now we have that photo of Santa instead and I love these pieces framing that photo you know I would never have thought to do that that's yeah that's really a great idea brilliant yes well, that's Lene. <laughs> and it does a nice job of framing uh, as you said so beautiful mm -hmm. and then adding um, uh, ho, 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 ho on there. So. <laughs> and then another yeah. piece here, and then your computer journaling has and been done. What I'm, one of the things I'm seeing here that I don't always think about, like let me pull in some of the die cuts. Usually when you're looking at the die cuts, you're going, oh, I'm going to use this one, and I use everything from this. Well, in this case, there's some things being used from two different sheets because they match so well. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a nice yeah. use of them. In fact, that one that you had, why don't you bring it back? That's the one that has the curved pieces. Right. So um, very nice. I would not have thought of that. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Lene. Fun. And so that ends our uh, festive elegance. Right. And uh, we hope you'll join us tomorrow. We're going to continue with Christmas and continue with Hunky Dory. See you then.